Aparanta comes alive in the way the sculptor chooses square sand grains over round soft kissed ones. Square grains stick better. He pounds them into place with water like hope, block upon block and removes the moles with fine knives when it turns hard like belief. He chisels her into desire, lust, love, prosperity. The strands of her hair, poise over shoulder, nose curves, eyelashes, freckles, frown, the heaviness of lips. Her gaze is set to a dream, bosom made heavy of sand brought from the riverbed. All come to see her now for the one flash that can set them free. Their eyes rove with hunger, searching her as if staring into a mirror to become another person. So they can all go back to their clockwork cities and say, You know what happened to me once in Aparanta? They have to be quick. The sea breeze breaks thick, carving out new expressions over her face every minute. Captive, the sun shaping trees on her dungeon pane. Captive, the sun shaping trees on her dungeon pane.